All right. That'll bleep us. What was the armor? I didn't read it. Check it out after this. A black ribbon? That sounds cool. I have a feeling this guy might like super meteor us when he dies. Okay. Counter attack. I'm setting up auto life. Maybe I should throw up shell too. Hey, quick question. Do you have a counter? You don't. That's unfortunate for you. survive <laughs> just barely the frag grenade gives uh armor break and for whatever reason the armor break attack only has a chance depending on what their resistance is but the armor break on the frag grenade is automatic same with the uh vanishing blade I never knew before. And I'm glad I, someone mentioned that, because, yep, he does uh, counter. Because I always wondered why, like, armor break seemed like it sucked. That makes sense. Wow, I didn't even need shell. I would always sit there forever trying to armor break and then suddenly it would work and it's probably a lot from like the uh I would like sit there and try armor break and then I'd probably use banishing blade just because I had it and then continue trying to armor break and then realize he got armor broke and not really know how it worked exactly. Uh, so let's see we got triple penalty Power Mog, dual rod, there's black ribbon. Death proof, stone proof, poison proof, dark proof. I only wish it had Confuse Proof, but Death Proof, Stone Proof is pretty dope. The I think the, the ultimate armor would be Death Proof, Stone Proof, Confuse Proof, Berserk Proof. That'd probably be the best. Sense Ribbon doesn't exist in this version. Oh boy! I remember this guy being tough, but none of the other ones have been really tough, so maybe he won't be bad. Probably throw up Shell. Do you have a counter? You don't? It is, but it doesn't exist in the original version. It exists in all the other ones. The version with the Dark Aeons, the remaster, but not in this one. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, just in case he can be Magic Rogue. Rag out!
Oh, he's immune to armor break. Wait, did immune come up when I threw the frag grenade? Maybe I missed it. Okay, I missed it. Oh, this is gonna get slower then. Let's go on iron. I think I remember this. I think he big blasts us, charges, and then. Brain blasts us. Which we could dodge with an Aeon. We're an angry. Uh, take that. Oh! Wait to see him. Not that much HP. One more, right? Four bond. This guy looks like he's immune to armor. Good. Armor break. Just he just has that look about him. have a feeling that he's going to do that um, mortar attack and it might be magic. Speaking of mortar, <laughs> see you later mortar. Have a good weekend. I really don't even need to worry about auto life because I have auto food. Nice to have in case I get party wiped, but it's not like I need to put it on right away. Is it like every couple of hits he does it? Well, as long as I put up protect. Should be alright. Uh, yeah, I'll also have a video up in a few hours, Dev. If you want to just wait for that. So we don't have to scroll through the bot. could have countered that and then hit me with a big attack and it could have been a problem. It was all good. You gotta be careful when enemies have counters. They don't hit them right before their turn. That's what happened that one time when I got wiped earlier today. Right, Titus is the only one doing big damage. Uh oh, I could 
try this. He doesn't have much magic defense. Not that great, but not bad. I just use holy because ultimate takes two. I love how he like defends against the explosion. That's a cool like little detail. I think I prefer, like, Final Fantasy XII's hunt system is, like, the best post-game super boss system, I think. Like, all around. It's fun to, like, find the hunts and solve the puzzles, and it feels really rewarding and fun. But I like this one, too. I have some gripes with this. Like, I don't really see the need to capture ten of everything. But yeah, like, I still enjoy this way. But I think the hunt system is just a bit better. Alright, here we go, boys. It's time. Original creation time. We only have eight to defeat. We have an hour and a half-ish to do it. Can we do it? This is where things get real. Honestly, like, the jump between the other ones and these ones is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> this guy stinks. survived. Protect and cheer and sentinel, he was able to survive. We also have quite a bit of turns. You got a counter? Yes. Very annoying one. Honestly, best case scenario is probably just going to be defend with Orin and counter. Oh, we can do that too. Oh, okay. That's neat. Thanks, thanks for that. Oh, 
lack of auto haste is hurting us here. We don't have enough time to get set up again. More importantly, Orin needs a death proof armor. Why did you block that? Can't block that? Uh, he killed Orin and Yuna at the same time, and Titus doesn't have auto Phoenix. That's why I couldn't go off. Proof Orin and Titus can survive attacks. Oh, I knocked them over. Wait, can you counter when you're knocked over? Oh. Seems like he takes less damage, though. an attack in this phase, that's nice to know. So as long as I can survive Flare, I should be able to just blast him. Um, oh, we already had it. It's hard to see Orin's halo from this angle. Oh, I forgot to get frag grenades. Whoops! Attack. This seems like our normal damage. Normal attacks are doing fine damage. He did max damage to Shell! with Orin and just let him sit at low health instead of having to heal Titus over and over. So he should probably do max damage if he's low health. What? Hit Orin! I guess he can't tell who hit him because he's on his back. This flare has some kind of really weird property. 
where it just like does 9,999 no matter what. Like it does a bajillion damage, but it doesn't break damage limit, so it always does 9,999. Even Yuna with Shell and all the magic defense she has. Ow! Wait, isn't that the one that caused death? You're telling me that it does like 40k damage and death? Alright, I don't know... I don't know if he's armor broke or not. I'm just gonna try to keep the damage on so hopefully he falls over again. This attack is annoying. Wow, nice damage. How's going, Sari? some kind of weird interaction. Oh, never, never mind, never mind. Take that back. We equip death proof stuff. That's why Auto Phoenix isn't going off. Speaking of which, that doesn't even help because he does a bajillion damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. You win eight battles. I want you to have this. But Flare takes no quarter. <laughs> what if we actually like pushed him back and he like fell off the map? if they put that interaction in here somehow. <laughs> he falls on top of Penance, and then Penance comes up and he's like, Hey! Who has awoken me from my slumber? This 
fight isn't too bad, it's just taking forever because I have to watch the counter every time. I like to get max damage. Should be dead relatively soon. Got some good XP from that. Shaman Bracer. Auto Potion. It's kind of cool. Uh, Alright, real quick. Oh wait, not you, not you, not you. The Monsterina guy is like, why did you have me get this guy out? We were just gonna run away. Um, we just gotta beat these original creations, that's it. We've done everything else that we wanted to do. them out. It was less than 10,000, right? Imagine bribing fish. What? I don't think I even bribe these guys, do I? No. Never mind. I just steal. Are you kidding me? They really ambushed and then attacked Titus. Died. Oh. Celebrate. <laughs> Titus is like, I did it. I saved the world. Haste swim animation is pretty great. Alright, one more. Yeah, we should be good forever. I don't think we need any more. He's got some bigger fish to fry. Down six to go. Oh god. I remember this one being horrific. 
bush. Yo, congrats, Ataru. Ow. I yeah, survived. I'm actually kind of shocked. God, he's really fast. This is why I want X potions, because they're faster than Kiraga and Cure More. Oh, his percentage? Okay. That's probably the only reason I survived that. Percentage, but it's max health percentage. Huh? Um, yes. If he has a counter, then I'm dead, but hopefully he doesn't. something else, but he's just spamming this one attack. We got six more. Just spam X potions. This attack can't kill us. Problem is, I need time to attack too. has a counter, but it can be any of his attacks. That's weird. Let 
happened to your SLS case? Alright, so... First thing I want to know is, did the armor break work? Basically, we need full health and shell, so we should be safe to attack. Titus lost haste because he went out of SOS even though I casted haste. That's kind of annoying. I didn't realize that was a thing. I have to cast it when he's not in SOS. Or the stick. And now, Yuna can't heal herself to pool because she has shell. Guarding actually lowers the damage. Well, I could actually guard with everyone. Because I don't want to... I don't want to spam... I don't want to spam that many uh, X potions. Run out. Fight. Now I can just like throw a mega potion. Um, this one's got haste shell. Also, Orin didn't survive. Did work. If 
I protect. And defend. I should take, like, no damage. To the point where I might actually be able to Ronald. Then of course he can just randomly ultima. Actually, I haven't seen him ultima yet as not like not being a counter, so maybe not. Maybe that has to be a counter. I'm not sure if Orin can survive Ultima even with Focus. Because there's like no magic defense. I wish we at least countered that. That would help a lot. health too before I can even attack. Alright, so if he does that, then I throw a Mega Potion. I'm ready to attack right away. Let's just hope. Orin had Kiraga, even though his magic stat sucks, just to give him something to do. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I was talking before about how we're like to the point now where we feel really, really strong, and yet we're only like halfway to max. That's how ridiculous the post game gets if you keep going. It's really, really fun to fight at this level where it's like we're super strong but not completely maxed. It makes these fights really fun. Some 
reason, he's always countering with ultimate. Before he sometimes did the other thing. Yeah, that's one of the really uh, funny things. For how, like, stupid strong you can get, you actually don't have any way to, like, cure all unless you're using items. Uh, I would be like, we lost so many turns. Should be okay though. It's just gonna die again. Um, man, now I gotta like refocus or else he's probably not gonna survive Ultima. Prey sucks. <laughs> Prey heals like nothing. I was thinking earlier, like I wonder if uh, Prey actually does more now that our magic is like crazy high. But I'm pretty sure it's still god awful. I could try it just to see. But I think it's, I think it's really bad no matter how high your magic is. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, big 500. Better than I thought. To be fair, better than I thought. Nice. Get this attack more often. I get a counter off of it. I don't want the heal off of it. We get Titus's big move in. Alright, we got everything, right? Shell protects. I hope this does big damage, but he's not armored rope, so probably not. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll take that. Is it worth it to use luck five times to try to get crits? <laughs> hey, countered with without Ultima. That's very nice of him. Or die, Titus. Yeah, I need to change the Stoic and Comrade. The thing is, yeah, I like you don't know until you go in, but most of these original creations seem to have counters, so I should just swap it. Because 
good chance it'll be what we want. To be honest though, it's like Blitz Ace isn't doing much more than Quick Hit. The time it takes to watch Blitz Ace is almost not worth using. I should try slice and dice. Like on this fight, It'll be better. Or it might be comparable enough to where uh, it's better for speed. Are we fighting a giant yellow? Curious to see how uh, the sisters might fare in this fight. I think the counter would just blast them right away, but might get some damage in. I have some turns here. I hope Eunice has enough HP. Uh, I think it's going to be overdrive, get whacked for most of our HP, attack one, sky. <laughs> what I foresee happening. But with their crazy magic defense, they might be able to survive Ultima. So they might actually be okay until they get Hydraulic Crest. Knowing my luck, I'll probably get a Hydraulic Crest uh, counter attack instead of an Ultima. I mean, we got like, what, eight or nine Ultima counters in a row? And we got like one or two presses? Well, that was a, a free max damage, I guess. Yo, Tom C, thank you so much for the brand new sub, man. Ah, what? Door and die. Can I not math? Uh, this is awkward. Uh, now I 
I gotta set Orin back up. that doesn't have a counter. Oh, I think we're good, I just have to focus a couple times. He's probably very close to dead. I certainly don't have to, it's just nicer, everything's quicker if we all survive the attacks, instead of having to watch Auto Phoenix and stuff go off every single time. And you know, it's safer to have everyone alive, but no, I could probably just let Orin die every single attack, it wouldn't make too much of a difference, but it would certainly be slower. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, the ATB is rougher too, like if we get into trouble. I like how they all have like boss dying animations. Alright, that one took a while. Pressing on. <laughs> 